going to be making a card box for a note card set that is three and a half by five. So I'm going to be using the Stampin' Up! envelope punch board and it has the measurements across the board and I'm going to look for a three and a half by five card size. We need to take our little bone folder scoring tool out of the side of our envelope punch board and we're going to start at the three and one eighth inch. We're going to punch and then we're going to score. And basically you take your scoring tool and there's just a little notch that you'll see in between that opening and you'll fill a little divot right there and you'll just pull that to the bottom. Now since we're going to have an inch depth, we're going to move it an inch and that will take us to the four and one eighths. We will punch and then we will score again. Now we're going to turn it 180 degrees and do the exact same thing. Find a three and an eighth, punch, score, move it an inch to the four and an eighth, punch, score, and that has the two, your opposite sides. So we're going to turn it to the next side and we are going to line up the scoring tip with that scoring line that we made and it actually ends up being the four and one eighth inch mark so we will punch and we will score there and we will move it another inch we will take it to the five and one eighth on the board punch and score and then flip it 180 degrees to do the last side we'll take that to the four and one eighth punch and score, five and one eighth, punch and score. And that takes care of that part. So I'll go ahead and I'll move this to the side and bring our paper here. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and burnish all of those score marks, which I'm gonna take my own folder and just fold on each of the lines the long side if that's next to you what we're going to do is grab some paper snips and we're going to cut that little square corner just cut it up to that um, it actually be the second score line this will be the bottom of our envelope box and if you were to flip that around this is going to be the top of our box so we really don't need those squares so I will go ahead and I will cut those squares out because that flap will be folding in so we don't need to have any extra security there. Okay, so basically that's going to be the top. This is the bottom. And we will fold it in like that. So we're And we're going to be putting adhesive on the back of these two squares. Let's get my adhesive started here. Oops. And then also the box is going to be folding up. This is going to be the outside. So we can also put some adhesive on these two corners. I'll go ahead and flip it over. It's a little easier. So we have the adhesive on, we flip the box over and on the outside of the box, we have the adhesive on those two corners, maybe a little more right there to the top and then these two flaps and then flip it back over. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold up that little square and we're just going to line it up so that you have a really nice 90 degree corner right there and then fold up the other side so that you have a nice 90 degree corner there and it's nice and straight and then going to fold in the two sides now when you're doing this you want to make sure you want to keep that that side square so that the bottom of the box is the same width as the top. You don't want to have the top kind of scrunched in to where you can't get your cards in. So just make sure that when you're gluing that, that you don't pull that side in a little bit too far. Tuck this 
it's like tucked in and then so I just really I just kind of look at it I kind of eyeball and just try not to squeeze that in too far and that actually looks good so I'll go ahead and push that down and I'll take my bone folder and I'll just go ahead and push in there and make sure it feels like it's nice and secure And basically, that is our envelope box for our note card set. Hey everyone, now that we have our envelope um, note card box done, we're going to decorate the front of it. So what I did was I cut a two inch by 11 piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to be using the Garden in Bloom stamp set with some of the flowers. Uh, from that stamp set and the colors I'll be using are Clips of Coral, Wisteria Wonder, possibly the Wild Wasabi. I'm not sure yet if I'll use that. Um, the So Saffron and the Black. We're just going to kind of wing it. Um, this is going to be the belly band for my um, to hold the closure. So I will start with the clips of coral and I just have my little stamping pad here um, since I'm using the the clear stamp set or the photopolymer um, stamp set doesn't have any cushioning on the bottom of that so you use the stamp pad to get a nice clean impression. So I use some of my clips of coral just to make some random flowers on my paper. You can even punch off at times. I think I'll use it full strength for this. Go ahead and get our Wisteria Wonder out and grab the really cute butterfly that comes in the kit. I really love, really, really, really love this butterfly. So, We'll go ahead and just fill in some of these white spots with the cute little butterfly. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I think what we can do next is let's get out the wild wasabi and let's, oops, my stamp lid just kind of came out. Push that in. And let's use the leaves from this set. Be using the base stamp of the leaves. This one. And let's put that on the block. There we go. And let's use some of this green wasabi. I'm going to stamp that off first. Yes, I think I will do that. I think I don't want it to be as strong. So what I'll do is... I'll ink it up, I'll stamp off. Yes, yeah, I, yes, I love that color. It's not quite as vivid when you first put it. So let's stamp off, get some green in that. Oh, I really love the way this band is coming out. And going to, oh, the way they have these stamps is at the bottom of the stamp they have this little notched area where the where the where the rubber comes down and that's just so that when you have a two-step stamp set and you're putting your first color down if you keep that stamp with that little etch mark and have that be your bottom side when you go to match up your second step if you put that stamp in the same position you'll be able to find the mark really easily. So let's ink this up and then we're just going to go over top of that flower. Hold it for a second. Oh. So we'll get that stamp, put that on that block. And we'll go ahead and use our basic black again. 
I'm just going to do this one little wing I have in the corner. Just, I'm going to have to maneuver my paper around since I moved it to get the different positioning. Okay. Let's go ahead and wrap that. And then we know it's going to bend right there, so just give it a little bit of a squeeze there. Kind of make a little bit of a a bend so that we see where it's going to bend naturally. Let's just do that a little bit and get it started. And then what we can do is we can take it and grab my bone folder again. And then we can just kind of crease that where there's little I used a two and three eighths inch circle punch for that. And then I'm going to cut out a white piece to go on that. And I'm just going to use the one and three quarter inch punch for that piece. So I'll get it and punch that out. And you can use if you have a different um punch that it doesn't have to be exact with these measurements. Using my Wisteria Wonder again and my Calypso Coral and what I will do is I'm going to do the butterfly. I will do the butterfly sort of. I want to have the butterfly be the, the center of attention on this so I will do the butterfly the full body of the butterfly. There's a smaller flower that's included with this stamp set. Why don't I go ahead and just use that. And grab some of that Calypso Coral. Put one of those on it. Okay, that looks good. And that, we can put that one away. And go ahead and close this up and then grab the basic black again. And we will grab the outline of the butterfly. Let's go ahead and put that on. Leave that for a second. I'm sorry if I put my head in the camera shot. I'm okay, that looks good. And I kind of feel like one some other color on there. So there is, yes, there's a small leaf set, smaller than the one that we used on the belly band included. So I will go ahead and get my lava sabi out again and get that leaf set. Let's just go ahead and put some leaves by that smaller flower to give us a little bit of a green color in there. Okay, I like that. I might even put two more down here. There, I like that. Go ahead and clean those off. And we can grab the outline. Go ahead and close up that green. Grab the black again as <laughs> so we keep juggling our ink pads. But that's that's part of creating. You know, you can do what you want. You're the creator, you're the artist. finish this one. Oh, I really like that. That's really cute. We're using the blaze. So what we'll do is we'll just put some adhesive right here. There, that side slides okay. And then We'll go ahead and attach the little flower. Scallop circle to the front and then we'll put some, I think I can just get away with one. Under that circle and take the backing off. Mm -hmm. 
And there we go. There's the belly band to that. And the reason why I chose those colors, just so you know, is the no card set that I'm going to put in here uh, has those colors in the set. So to make it a little bit of a matching set, I use those colors. So I'm so glad that you uh, stopped by to watch my video today. And if you're interested in any of the products that I showed today, uh, please come on over to my website, bonnietcreations.com. Um, there's a link there that allows you to shop 24 hours a day at the Stampin' Up! website. Um, my email's on there if you have any questions. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love for you to see any upcoming videos, and I'd love for you to give me any comments or critique anything that I've done. I, I'd love to get some input and... Uh, I would love to be able to earn your business, become your new Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So uh, thanks again for coming over today to watch my video, and we will see you soon. Bye.